How are we? Hi, everybody. It looks like we got a lot of people joining us. As, as always, we sat down the very second that you, it was time to go live. We used to get ready an hour ahead because we were so nervous. Maybe one time or twice. we didn't want twice. to mess it up, and then we messed it up even yeah. with an hour preparation. Yeah. <sighs> hey, Lori. So we were, uh, we were thinking about going live from the garage tonight, but about two minutes ago, we changed our mind because that wasn't going to work out. So we've been scrambling to get out here. We wanted y'all to see the emus. We thought we could just do it out there with them, but there's no way you would have been able to see them. They were zooming around in there, though, as I walked away after giving them some kale and blueberries. Yeah, they uh, they eat way better than we eat. Yeah, for sure. Healthier, for sure. Okay, let's see. So, a couple people saying congrats on 7,000 subs. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank much. you all for being part of that. Um, it has been a crazy little over a year now and it's been crazy but we thank you all for being part of that if you're on here and you're not subbed go hit that sub button yes and constantly people say it it kicks them out it i think what it is it's something to do with the algorithm but if you don't watch a certain amount of videos or watch videos within so many minutes of subscribing, subscribing then it marks it as spam mm. okay interesting that's what i figured out on my own anyway oh, really? and i'm usually an expert once i figure something out mm -hmm. so yeah we got a we got bella right here in the house here bella she's my footstool she's got something stuck in her ear i'm pretty sure it's chicken poop but that's how we roll Most around likely. here. <laughs> she got her paw on you. <laughs> Bella. Woo, gosh, 7,000. Isn't that crazy? I am probably gl glistening. I am sweating my arse off. Do you want to tell them what you've been doing? I've been putting, oh, the whole day or just? Well, sure. The whole day's been crazy. I've. I Can I tell them what I did in the middle of the night? And then. No, <clears throat> it'll be on the video. Okay, let's just say my insomnia and, and Facebook Marketplace paid off this time. Yeah, for her, not me. <laughs> my day was derailed from the moment I cracked my eyes open. <laughs> and read the message I sent you from yeah. 3 a.m.? <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, Bella, you're going to have to go on, girl. Come on, big girl. Let's go. Let's go outside. So yeah, we are excited. Um, million views. I don't even know how that's possible. I guess it's normal for large channels, but I never even thought about a million yeah. views. Well, we get the little email saying, um, oh, thank you, Crocker Life. We don't really know what's amazing or not. So we're like, is this a big deal or not? So we put it on our thumbnail. Like we think it's a big deal. Flint spends a lot of time on our videos. We're not professionals in nope. filming. And are you a professional editor? Well, I'm probably you're, getting close. You're, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Jason says. I'm a humble man. Through the crockers, all things are possible. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, we're getting better than our original videos, for sure. Right? Yeah. Carly did good, and then I took it over, and it wasn't the greatest, and then you took it over, and you're way more creative, so you, you were hired. I was hired. You've worked yourself into, well, no one else can do it. See, I, I think it's that I'm just so OCD mm -hmm. that if it wasn't me doing you guys, if it w wasn't me doing the videos and it was Sam, you guys would probably see a video every three to four weeks. Probably. Because she just... <laughs> We'll get them done. I have so. a to-do list that never seems to get anywhere. And, and, I mean, I have the same amount of hours in the day that everyone else has, but I think I just move a lot slower or something. It's taken me two days to clean the pig pen, and I'm not even done yet. Yeah. <laughs> Scoop and poop. 
I have I have a squirrel brain. I get going on something and I get sidetracked. So we had a big weekend. You guys saw some of how many videos from the weekend have posted? Two. Well, at least I don't know. A, few, a hater or two has popped in and said that we're we're uh, clickbait and desperate. Yeah. So but I, I think we I think we've had two from the weekend. We uh, have like three more days worth of videos just from the weekend, just trying to spread them out um, for you guys. So it's not like an hour video <laughs> together. But we have, I think, two more coming up tomorrow and Thursday. We'll wrap up last weekend, and then we'll be going forward. Uh, there's a couple projects I working on today one of them we're not filming it's kind of nice to be able to just work on something without worrying about recording it which one's that the one in the front yard right now oh yeah okay the, why i'm sweating and yeah. almost dead in this well we'll probably house. do a video when we do the rest of it yeah right? we yeah yeah we'll do a video down the road but the initial part i can get out of the way so. We got some cool, we can tell them about that. We got some cool stuff from Vivor or Vever, however you say that. And I say Vivor. Vivor, that's what I think. They're the people that last year sent us the, the honey extractor. Yes. Vivor is my favorite company right now. It's kind of like Harbor Freight, isn't it? But home, more home type stuff. Yeah, it's like... Uh, Not only tools. Yeah, they... I don't even think they promote their tools that much. No. It's more their agricultural. They have like an Gardening. athletic line. Animal. Well, yeah, animals. Um, I pretty have much. there for the pet bed. Should have, yeah. We got but a blue and Do we have a link bed. on our videos yet? Uh, I don't know. We'll put an affiliate link. So we have a little affiliate link that if you order through us, we get a commission. Um, but anyways, I just like their, their products, but we've got some stuff coming up that we bought from them and stuff that they've given us for, to do a review. So we're going to do a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw they have a pig roaster, like the spit. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to do that with one of them. Oh, they, gosh. yes, they actually have a spigot. I, they had two sizes, one for a, a pig. And one's for like a oh, goat or a lamb. sheep, yeah, or a lamb. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I guess, guess if the Crockers don't get rid of all their male goats, we could buy the spigot. And it's a spit. A spigot is a. <laughs> gosh, quit saying it. A spit. A what? Spit. S P I T. Like you spit? Yes. A spigot is where you get water. Oh. When you're rednecks like us, go okay. to the spigot and get some water. Okay. No, that's a hydrant. No. Y'all, is it, when you roast a pig on the little thing and you turn it, is it a spit or a spigot? Help us out here. Help us out. Uh, it's a Lua pig turner thing over the fire. Mm-hmm. So oh, we... Uh, your mom said she felt so bad for Jet losing the goats. He only had them for, he really saw them for 10 minutes. He falls in love fast, but... He does it like goats. It was pretty heartbreaking. I was shocked. I've mentioned goats, and you're always like, no, 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 no. Rotisserie. Mind blown said a rotisserie. Todd Packer said spit. Mary Ellen Cook, spit. It's I don't spit. ever want to cook any rotisserie. On a spit. Rotisserie is like the small ones that you do chickens on. That you do goats on. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, what were Lori you saying? Lori says spit. She wants to know if we got pepper back. We picked Pepper up this week. Yes. Uh, it has a Z on the end. Spits. See, you were wrong. He can come over whenever and hang with the baby boys, and we will send him home with one. <laughs> Do they stink, though? Somebody told me that boy goats stink, and I don't, I don't want to get into that. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, spit. I really think it's spit. Okay. Oh, we're, we need, yeah. We need grilling. Yeah, we need Nick on here. Yeah. Is Nick on here? So, can we tell them about Pepper, what the butcher lady said when they called and said she's yep. ready? They yep. said they she made a lot of great, great-looking burger, backstrap, 
some filet, but she was real, very, very fat. Very fat. <laughs> like she said, they normally have one barrel per uh, cow. cow or steer that they fill up with the bones and the excess fat and the waste problems. She filled up more than two barrels <laughs> of waste. She was so, healthy. Um, she, yeah. She, she was, was healthy. healthy. She gonna feed us. I hope we have enough room in the freezer. I cleaned it out. There's just a few bags of chicken nuggets in it right now. So here's something we learned through this process with Pepper and uh, taking her to the processors. We, or I learned, or I guess I was reminded, there used to be, or when the mag cow thing came out like four or five years ago, they put in legislation nationwide to where if a uh, cow or a steer or bulls over 30 months old, they cannot produce any meat that has bone left on it. So, um, so all the steaks we get out of her, so like a ribeye won't have the bone, you can't make T-bones, you can't make any of that out of pepper because she was over 30 months old. So that's, that's uh, I won't get into a conspiracy I have on that, but um, okay. anyway, the- Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Give us something to talk about. We're, there you we're go. still Maybe early here. Let me finish my thought though. My brain's fried, okay, so sorry. I can't go back and sorry. forth. So anyway, if they're over 30 months old, you can't have the bone. So all the meat we get back from pepper will be boneless. Uh, and it's like, there's nothing that you hear anything about mag cow anymore, right? But I they don't know. Kept, I don't watch the news anymore. I only they watch kept YouTube. it going. So we talk about beef prices going up and all this stuff. I have figured out it's because of this government regulation that everybody has to process their cows before they get real big. So there's not as much meat on them. And it's a government conspiracy to drive the meat price up. What does 30 months have to do with it? I have no idea. Maybe they're less likely to get mad cow if they're young. Maybe they can only get it. I'm sweaty. I know. Sorry. It's awful. Our house is burning up. It got <gasps> the warm heater was here on. Again I forgot today. it was still on. My pits are sweating. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. That's my um, theory Mimi on it. Right. What? Mimi said I was right about the spit. Mimi, am I right about the? Uh, Cows, you guys know. The mad the, cow. The 30 month old. Is it legit or is it a government conspiracy? Is it an Oklahoma thing? Yeah, they raise hundreds of cattle. So We've never know. butchered an animal before. I actually called the lady back and I was like, uh, do I need to bring boxes or tubs to pick it up? I, you know, I don't know how much we're talking here. We've never done this before. Yeah. So she said you can, they would send it in feed sacks since we live close enough. It's literally what? Three quarters of a mile mm -hmm. <laughs> from our driveway. Well, the people who run it live directly across the road from us. They're like our neighbors. Um, and we also found out we have their bee boxes. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> plot twist. When we drop Pepper off, they're like, hey, my wife's been watching your channel and saw her bee boxes on your videos. <laughs> so I guess we took their bee boxes that were on the property we bought and they didn't get them taken they didn't remove them before we bought the property i asked the lady we bought the property from whose bee boxes they were she said she had no idea so we just inherited them and uh we tried to take care of them we took them some food yeah they, well the one box was one dead, box was, was already dead was already dead and had moths in it and basically i think once you get moths in there yeah and then the robber bees started coming that that i call alan the bee expert that he came over there with us and he said that those, we, there were a lot of robber bees, which are the wild and bees. And the moth tracks. Yeah. So. so they had destroyed the comb and eaten eaten up all, like the rest of the box and killed. So those little bees that we did a few videos with tried their best, but they lost their queen and then they fought to the death. 
Yes. To protect themselves. Yes. But so And now we we're getting newbies. Yes. You have them ordered, right? Yes. I actually, Alan had told me, I don't know if there's anybody interested here in bees, but I'm going to just tell you. Alan told us that those bee boxes, that if we froze them for several days, like, four, thank you, 48 hours, um, we'd be able to use the same boxes because there's already a lot of comb. So the bees wouldn't have to work as hard to build the comb up. They could just pretty much move right in. Right. So, and read like restructure yes. the way they want it. But he said we needed to get it cold like in a freezer. So we had so much junk in our deep freeze from just years of throwing We had in junk it. in the trunk. So we got it cleaned out for pepper, but not in time for the bee boxes. Like I didn't have enough time to take it apart and do all that. But we had 10 days below zero, or not below zero, below freezing, right? Mm -hmm. So I spread them out outside and we left them out there. And I talked to Alan at church and I said, is that long enough? And he said, yeah, that should be. Well, when I moved them, moths flew out. So the moths were still in there. So he said, I wouldn't risk putting new bees in those beehives. He said, They're, you just need to get rid of them, burn them, whatever. Get rid of them. So we're like, crap, literally, what, three days later, we take Pepper, yeah. and the guy says, my wife... Well, we need to tell her that, though. Yeah. We need to tell her that. If you're on here, Sharon, that, be careful. He said that. Yeah, Alan... But Alan probably knows we know nothing about bees, so yeah. he's probably like, you guys won't be able to, <laughs> to, yeah. to, to ward them off. Sharon yeah. probably knows, so, right? Right, so Sharon, Sharon messaged me last night and wanted to come over and get the bee boxes. So I gave her my phone number and I said, just text me and I'll meet you up there with them and get them back to you. So anyways, but we have bees on the way. They are gonna be shipping mid-April. Well, I'm glad our bee story took like 45 minutes. So Hi. you guys have a good night. It was fun being here. Jade's here. <laughs> Hi, Jade. <laughs> Karen from Australia. Karen, we have new e Muse. Emus. 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 They are like 24, 26 days old. Is that baby emus? Baby emus? Yes, I have an owie on my finger. Oh my Mary goodness. Kay. I caught it trying to get some oh, batteries yeah. out of something today. My hands are really good. While she was making lunch. <laughs> and I, I had to get my own lunch because yeah. she didn't want to bleed on my lunch. That's all right. You could handle getting your frozen pizza out of the oven and cutting it True. out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Totino's. Anybody on here eat Totino's pizza? That's this guy's favorite. Yeah. Uh, it used to be Red Baron. I grew up on Red Baron pizza. Uh, what that say about? Emus eat snakes. I think, I believe so. Yes. I think e Lizard, emus snakes. will eat anything. I saw way. Mimu eating a red wasp the other day. No. Oh, baby emus get eaten by snakes? Yeah. Maybe. I bet they do. Next one we have Sharky. We have snakes not. Uh, Penny Voice asked if yes. we named them yet. No, I've been trying to think. So, they're a boy, they're male and female unrelated. So, and we They've met. been DNA sex. Yeah. Just like we met Mimu their parents. was, but Mimu, we didn't trust the DNA. We double-checked. I trust this guy. Mm -hmm. He's been doing this 12 years. He had cool birds. He took us around. We got to see the parents. When we walked up, there was a female. Her, all, her neck feathers were all... Jim and Pan. Oh, that's Todd. cute. <laughs> Todd, that's so yeah. cute. Jason, Jason and, and Danielle. <laughs> Bert and Ernestine. What did you say last night? Oh, is that going to be a video? Fred and Wilma? No, no. I said Fred and Betty. No, no I said you Fred and... You said Fred and Barney. No. No, <laughs> you, said, <laughs> you said Fred and... No, you said Wilma and Barney. Barney, yeah. Barney and Wilma. Gosh, Wilma. our brains are fried. But that didn't work because unless there was something a little weird going on, it should have been Fred and Wilma, not Barney and Wilma. Mm. And it took us forever to think of Barney's wife's name. So 
Uh, Barney's wife's name was, what What we figured out? Betty? Was it Betty? Yes, I think so, but I don't Betty know for Rebel. sure. Betty Rebel. Okay. Right? Let us know if you know, if you remember. I think I might have. Annie says it was Betty. Yeah. I want to make sure I didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. Rob. Rob from Tractor Supply. Hi, Rob. I got to meet Rob. Was that last weekend? Where? I didn't see his He wrote comment. up here. It's me, Rob from Tractor Supply. And then somebody down below. I, that's what caught my eye. said, hi, Rob from Tractor Supply. It's cool to run into people that see our channel. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dan and Roseanne. That's cute. Pebbles and Bam Bam. We were telling them about Pebbles? What about... No. What, I'm what telling about, them about Pebbles. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in mid-thought. What was the Married with Children people's name? Peg. Al. Al and Peg. Al and Peg. <laughs> I grew up watching that. I love that. Yes, that's what we need. We need a... Ralph and Al is from Honeymooners. Betty and Barney. Yes, they are um, the same. They're standard color emus. The guy had some white, or were they blondes? I think well, both. We could do Bam Bam and Pebbles. That, that would, would be, be cute. That would be cute. For, yeah, it would be fitting. Can I tell them about Pebbles? You can tell them about Pebbles. What was your name going to be if you were a girl? Oh, Bobby's nickname is Pebbles. Aw. Sammy and Flint. There's, there's too many Sandy. So ones. if I was a girl, my name was going to be Sandy. <laughs> Jade. Thank goodness we're born boys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Your name was going to be what? Sandy. Or? Uh, I don't Pebbles. know. Pebbles! Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara, so, I'm so glad. That I have a boy. brother named Rocky. Is Rocky on here? I don't think so. I have a brother named Stoney. I have a brother named I Jade. I think he only answers to Stone now. His birth certificate says Stoney. Oh, okay. I have a brother named Jade, and then my name's Flint. And I think after Stoney, if they were going to have a girl after Stoney, <coughs> the name was going to be either Pebbles or Sandy. Um, so, yeah, my brother Jade said... Sure, I'm glad we weren't girls. <laughs> People always ask because we got rock names. Really? And yeah. And people are like, oh, that's so neat. What were your parents like? Were they geologists? Were they, you know, all this stuff? And I got tired of trying to explain the reason for our names. So now everybody I meet who asks me that, I just say, that my parents were hippies in the 70s and they smoked lots of dope and came up with crazy names. True story. <laughs> I'm Barbara. Barbara. That's what I tell everyone about you, that you were a hippie and smoked lots of dope. Oh my gosh. So. And that usually shuts them up because they don't want to dig into the story anymore. Because then it gets a little awkward. Then it gets a little awkward. So. Um. Let's see. I don't want to miss anything. Somebody Ricky. asked about Davy. Davy. Fledge asked about uh, our child B genius Davy. He off to college? No. What? She said, "Is your child B geni genius Davy? What about him? Is he off to college? Remember, he was in our B video when you guys took the B." Oh my goodness! What a Great Good memory. memory, Fledge. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what you were talking about. Davey um, learned all of that from YouTube. Oh, he did, yeah. Davey is a child genius. Yes, for sure. And he was positive that I was going to kill the bees. Well. He had, he was I, certain. Yes. If, if he didn't step in and take control of the situation. They did end up dying. They did end up dying, but they he's were. the one who messed with them. So I can blame Davy for killing our bee. <laughs> I think that it was already set in motion. The other box had died. This box was on its last leg. Yeah. We, and we didn't know how to turn a sinking ship around. We yeah. probably needed more bees at that point because they didn't have. And 
we learned too, when you have too many levels to your bee box, they can't defend themselves with that much room. They were living in True a high story. rise. So we should have taken skyscraper. We should have put them back down in a ranch style home. Yeah. You got to have like millions of beads, right? Yeah. To like have when we get our story boxes. Mm -hmm. When we get our bees, we're going to put them in the ranch home. Yeah. And then like in 30 the days you add a level. But make it a two story. Mhm. Mm Mickey and Minnie for Jet. Oh, Aww. that would be cute. I wish we didn't. We already have two Minnies. Donald and Daisy. Yeah. That's cute. We have a Minnie that's a donkey and a Minnie that's a cat. Sunny and Bono. <clears throat> no, not Sunny and Bono. <laughs> Sunny and Cher. Oh my Sorry. Gosh. I need to go to bed. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Peanut and Brittle. Um... Amethyst, that's cute. Todd, we don't have enough honey to sell from last year. We still have a couple uh, small yeah. containers, but... I suppose we ought to give one to Sharon when she picks her bee boxes up. Maybe. Um, someone, oh, Bobby said they have a friend named Flint. Really? That's cool. That is cool. I've it's met... so confusing. People think, I don't know what they think when they see your name. When they see my name, like me messaging the emu guy back and forth, the one of the time times he, thought, he thought I was a man. He wrote, yes, sir. Hey, Paragon Ridge Ranch. And so when we got to his house and introduced ourselves, he had a hard time figuring out. He, he, was, he called you Sam, right? I, I yes. don't know. He was confused. Yeah. Even after I told him it was you. Yeah. He's like, so you're not Sam? <laughs> I'm like, no. It's confusing. I've just always, I have always went by Sam. But it's, my name is Samantha. Um, some of my family's called me Sammy over the years. My grandma calls me Mantha. That was my nickname from her. Um, some of her family calls her Samantha. My sister. Samantha. Samantha. Oh. So... Uh, who asked? Somebody asked about how you tell them apart. Oh, so... <laughs> Abby from KC. The only reason I know them apart right now, I think the female has the darker stripes on her neck, and the male has just the cream color here, but they have zip ties on their ankles. He has... He has a yellow, yellow and, and a blue. Yes. Right? Yes. And she has two black. Two black. So, and he told us to watch those, and when they start to get tight, we need to take them off and replace them. So, I guess the way that works when you... Oh, Simi. That was another Simi. name. yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of nicknames. I like eggs, Simi. <laughs> yeah, Simi. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> when I worked in the... I used to work in high school. My first job was in a nursing home. I worked in the kitchen as a kitchen helper. And then I took my CNA, like, and when I was 16, became a CNA. And then I went to assisted living right after high school and became a med aide. And there was a man that I grew up knowing. He came into my grandparents' restaurant once, ever since I was a little girl. And he called me Simi. But when he ended up in the, the assisted living and he came up and when I would cook there sometimes on the weekends when we didn't have a cook, he'd say, Simi. I want, I want legs. I mean eggs. He was such a character. Do you remember that? It was like every time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He thought it was the funniest thing. I want, yeah. I want some legs. I mean eggs. Somebody <laughs> said Archie and Edith. Classic show. Aww. You don't even know that show, do you? All in the family. Oh, good for you. Thank you, thank you. What? Candy striper. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> thought that said something else. <laughs> you need to get hooked on phonics, I guess. That's one P, not two. Oh, okay. <clears throat> uh. Archie. Yeah, a couple people want that, Archie. Yeah, Jet, Jet really, I could not believe he was so brokenhearted about that. So Chrissy asked how the chicks are doing. I think they're doing good now. They went through some tr trauma when we uh, introduced the 
<laughs> you emu chicks. We put them in them. the brooder box with them. They were all like all in one corner, <laughs> like a ball of fluff. <laughs> so Chrissy, we have two black ones, the frizzles. One of them, his little feathers all of a sudden are like, bloop. So I think you said they have a 50% chance. Remind me, is that what you said of getting the, the frizzle gene? Or will they both eventually be that way? But it's so funny and cute. Um, okay, what's what did I miss about Tammy? Uh, Thank don't you. Know. Banged up, but they are okay. Yeah, Chrissy says fifty percent chance. So fifty percent chance. So that means they either will or won't. Isn't everything a fifty percent chance, Chrissy? Like Tam, hold on. Tammy said, no. just popping in to say hi. My daughter and her husband were just in a car accident, so can't stay, but they are okay. Oh, Tammy, we'll be praying for them. Yep. That is so scary. Lift them up right now. Hugs and love to them. Gosh, that's so scary. That's where she said, banged up, but they're okay. So, anyway, I was going to give Chrissy some uh, crap. But about the chicks or what? Yeah, she said 50% chance. Yeah. Everything's 50% chance. Well, they are cute. Is it going to rain today? There's a 50% chance. It either will or it won't. One of the yellow ones, too, has a little, like, I almost thought it was like a growth on its head. It's, I mean, downy looking. It's not, you know, weird looking, but it, like, it has a helmet on top of its head. It's cute. But we ended up not leaving the emus in with them in the brooder. It just, they are way bigger. There's no way. They, I More. mean, they did lay down and snuggle for a little bit, but I didn't want them to get smushed because they, one of the emus stepped on one of them and it was like pinned there for a minute. <clears throat> Rose, yellow, I know Rose says silky. Mork and Mindy. I love that. I know, that, that is That was a cute. great show. That is Go cute. ahead, I cut you off. Oh, she said the yellow or silky. Yeah, but the little thing on his head, I didn't know if maybe that meant it was a rooster or some of them maybe just have more on their top of their head. Yeah. Dana, I am a huge fan of you as well. Dana says they're a huge Aww, fan. Oh, thank you. That is so sweet. I am a huge fan of you for saying that. We are just goobers. I'm really not. Oh, Leslie Gideon. What's up, cuz? Aww. All the hey, way Grayson. from St. Mary's, Kansas. Grayson, you got to come visit us this summer. Yep. Keep we'll have you busy. to get it planned. It definitely, the chores. So we're feeding Mary, or not Mary, we're feeding Ginger a bottle still. Probably for another, what, week and a half? We'll per basically use up what the milk we have left. She, Friday, will be 60 days old. Um, she's back with the sheep again. She did not like being up with the cows. I don't think she minded for a while while we were up there. She ran around. She loves to run. But then... Uh-oh, we got bright. Oh, I need to shut some lights off. Our cabinet's lights are... Oh, sorry. They are pretty bright. Yeah, I didn't notice. Yeah, I've never noticed that before. Thank y'all. Yes, vote for Riley. Riley made it to the quarterfinals, right? Quarterfinals. So when I voted earlier this afternoon, he was in sixth place. So we got to get that little dog. He loves to watch Juno Acres. I want him to come visit and see the sheep. That would be so cool to watch him, like, follow them around, herd them around. Bindi. So Bindi is obsessed with our two chickens now that we've let the chickens out of the coop. Mimu chase every day they come out when the door comes up. I'm pretty sure Mimu chases them out of the little donkey pen. And then Bindi spends the day circling them. Mm -hmm. She doesn't herd them. No. She just herds them. Herds them very herds closely. Herds them instead of hurts them. Yeah, very closely. Juno Acres family reunion. Yeah. Yeah, now let's see. Did we have the pinball machine when yeah. Grayson was here? I think so. I don't think so. That was in the fall when we went to get it. 
a year ago in the fall. Oh, it was? Yeah. I thought it was just this last fall. Okay. No, that we had it. Okay. Oh, Todd just voted and Riley's in fifth place. Thank you, Todd. Yeah. We appreciate that. Um, I'm from London, Ontario, Canada. Have you been up around here? Where did you go when you were younger? So I went to Red Lake. Uh, I don't know where London is. I was only, I was young. I was like summer, last time, went twice. Last time was between eighth grade and freshman year. But we used to go up a couple times with family friends to walleye fish and northern pike fish at Red Lake. Is that right? Angela says Red Lake. Ha ha. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't Red Lake. I think that was the name of it, though. Let me know if that's really a place. For some reason, that is sticking in my mind. Maybe it's a joke that I really don't know about, but. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. How old were you? What grade? I went uh, between sixth and seventh grade and then between eighth and ninth. It is a place, just small. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know why I remember that off the top of my head. Why did the they pick that place? Did they, was that somewhere they'd been before? Yeah, they, they used like to, to go, go up there? there all the time. We went to two teacher, different right? places. Yeah, the Gross Nichols from Seneca. She was your teacher? From Corning, yes. Corning, she Kansas. Loved, she loved little Flint. Her Everybody loved Flint. Flint. Everybody. They still do, right, folks? Mm -hmm. Come on now. I'm a humble man. Help build me up here. Y'all, when somebody mentioned Jet, it broke their heart. I asked Flint, I was like, you cut that out, right? Him bawling like that, because we're, that was, it's the real, it's the real, real guy. Real reels. We're not trying to put on a show here. He has never reacted to animals like that, though. But, no. I mean, we've never given away. They always stay. So, can't really say that. But, um, he did love those little goats. We may have to get some goats. But we don't have goat-type fencing. No, we, we need, don't. We need some goat fencing. And no. I, don't, I want little goats. I don't want big goats. Man, now, I drove the back way from... Where'd I go today? Remind me. Hera. No, it wasn't there. Oh. Nuwala, Nuwala. If you know where Nuwala is, it's a little town in Oklahoma. Anyway, I drove the back way all the way from there to our place, and I saw probably a million goats, exaggerating a little. But everybody in rural Oklahoma has goats now. I didn't realize that. It's like everywhere. You just see cows everywhere. Now it's all goats. goats. Well, Jillian has goats. Maybe we could buy some little female goats from her. I don't I don't want to have goat babies. As much fun as it would be, we're gonna be having sheep babies. I think and then we're gonna have pig babies and we're gonna have emu babies. And I think that's enough babies. Right? I'm okay with just cow babies. Cattle babies. Maybe camel babies. And camel babies, yeah. You don't want the pig babies? Or the sheep babies? Well, yeah, now that we have Well, one. you told me they have to reproduce yeah. if they come to live here. Yeah. I was fine with freeloading animals, but now you, you change things up on me. <laughs> yeah, Mom says don't get billies, just get nannies. Well, everything that comes to our property has to have a purpose now. So if there's no purpose, we don't need them here. So you got to have both parts. Um, Angela said they populate too fast. You get too many. Yeah. Leonard Mountain. Hi, Leonard Mountain Homestead. I've seen your comment a few times um, earlier. Sorry, I didn't say hi. They want goats too. Hit up the Crockers. They have yeah. some male goats right now. Yeah. Little BBs. Um, Jerry wants to know if ever, anyone ever called you Sparky. Sparky. I think I have a time or two when we quote lines from National Lampoons. Those are mm -hmm. our favorite movies. Yeah. 
We pretty much communicate in uh, movie lines and lines from the office. And song lyrics. Yes. Barb said, loved walleye fishing in Red Lake. Who said that? Barb, right here. Where? I'm probably not clear at the bottom. I like to go back. I don't want to miss a bunch oh. of stuff. Um, what is happening with the emu egg you got? So that that man, Glenn, offered, he asked if we had gotten an incubator yet because he was going to give us an egg that was laid that day. But we don't have an incubator yet. So we went up and turned around and came back to go down his road and he came out with an egg that he had already blown the inside out. I, I don't know if it wasn't fertile or what happened, but those are so cool. Yeah. I can't, I can't wait. They are just beautiful eggs. Um, what do the camels do? Let's see if we can do this. Do you see them out there? Uh. I don't know if you guys can see them. No, there's a glare. Okay. They eat. They walk and they eat. And they poop. And they do that too. <laughs> they, they, they're really cool. I love them. They're in our backyard. I know you love them, just like I love my donkeys. Um, they trim all the leaves Excuse me, um, on the bottom branches that they can reach. They look like giraffes in the spring and they eat the new growth and then the trees will bud out again and they just keep coming back and they keep eating the leaves, right? Oh, uh, they saw the legs of the camels. Okay. Oh, what are their favorite trees, elm? They like elm trees and those fruit trees that don't produce fruit here, whatever they're called. I don't know. Yeah. They'll just grab a branch, though, and, like, strip the leaves mm -hmm. off. They have a hard palate. Well, you tell them. This, these are your animals. Describe hey, their mouth. Hey, here, do what? Just describe their mouth. Oh. Well, I was going to say, go watch our camel videos, guys. Oh, okay. There we go. That way they could be educated on camels. I think I had one we did called 10... Top 10 questions we get about camels. Mm -hmm. So if you have questions about camels, watch that video. It's like one of our early ones. Very poor quality. Probably boring as <laughs> all get out. <laughs> These are the 10 things people ask me about camels. Oh <laughs> That's when I thought I was supposed to be like really trying to be professional on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I should have known, you know. It uh, wouldn't go well. Anyway, if you got camel questions, there you go. Ashley said, Flint, there was something you were going to tell us this week. Was it your your testimony? We, we did that last week. You did yours? Well, we did a group. Okay. Kind of a two-person okay. one. I don't remember what, it, what you were... Bob Barker, get your pet spayed or neutered. That is right. Mm -hmm. Everybody that comes here gets neutered, except for Hershey now and the little Toby and Mac and Fergus. Yeah. And Lambo, but we're not his parents. We're not castrating Lambo. That's not on us. Well, I had a video where I was going to castrate him, but we didn't follow through. Right? It's a shame. I, I don't think anybody should castrate him. He's so sweet. He His oh, babies will be sweethearts. Him. Big sweethearts. Yeah. Today, let's see. Who are we still waiting on for Baby Watch? Baby Watch is still um, Elsa. Elsa, Rue, and Belle we've been thinking should have babies at any time. Elsa and Rue, for sure. Um, Elsa's bag has been bagging up for, what, a week? I know. So those are the next three, and then we'll have Anna and uh, Fiona after those three. So we got five babies left to go. Got four on the ground. I, I hope that they're born soon so we can have a run of babies all together. Like, it's so cute seeing Cora's baby, Effie's baby. They're virtually twins in size. They're how far apart? A week? 
probably. probably. Yeah. And then Lucy Gray was born in December, though, so she's a little older. But she loves them. She's always trying to just lay kind of near them and just watch them. I really was hoping that Ginger would go back and hang with Lucy Gray, but I don't know what we're going to do. Um, Dawn says, congrats on the 1 million views. What video was it? Birth of the First Baby Highland. It's I our channel. Don't know. Yeah. yeah, it's our channel. Our channel has a million views. Yeah, we don't have a single video. Our most, our our video with the most views is our hummingbird one, which was like way back. A hummingbird was... hit our big window here, and I heard it. And I, Carly and I ran out, and Carly filmed, and I held it. You'll have to go watch it. it is and so we cool. know to put stuff on the glass now. Yes. So. I'm actually going to see about getting that window tinted. I wonder if that would help. Because then they would see their reflection. Yeah. So we did put window clings on la all last summer, and it helped. It cut it way back. It's a long video, but it's worth watching if you haven't watched it yet. Yeah. Uh, hummingbirds are just amazing. Love them. Um, will we be selling baby emus or keep a couple? Penny wants to know. We we'll, are going to we'll be sell selling them. them. Yeah. Yeah. Everything from here on out is for sale. Everything. <laughs> no, not everything. Not, not my donkeys. <laughs> well, I would let Minnie and Pearl go to a good home if I had to. Really? I've been thinking about it. Thank you. But it would have to be a home that would keep up with their feet. They have a little dip. Their feet are a little different, difficult. They have to have routine farrier appointments. What about Annie? No. Annie, Annie is thickly bonded to Pays and Jack. You cannot break that bond. They're a trio. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I would... For Minnie and Pearl, just because they're a little bit standoffish. They they never really assimilated. Bonded to us like Jack and Paisley and Annie. Minnie right. and Pearl they, still have they just love each other. I mean they would be fine anywhere. They are super gentle. And they're that tiny little size. They're so cute. But anyways. Uh, so if you're looking for donkeys, hey, <laughs> hit us up. You heard it here. It's going to be on YouTube for the rest of our life. So when she uses it against me, I can refer back to this. I just don't want them to ever be separated because donkeys bond so strongly to each other. And they would just be heartbroken. Like whenever I've had to take one of them to the vet, I take the other. Just because they get so stressed being apart. And... It doesn't matter what they're doing. They are like yin and yang in the pasture. Now, the other three, even though they're a bonded group, they'll spread out and be okay. Go do their own thing. Go eat, whatever. But Minnie and Pearl are glued. And they've been through some, I, they're just a little skittish. Like, if you move too fast, they'll kind of jerk. And I don't know what their past was. We got them from someone that had got them from someone. So, Grayson wants an emu. All right, we'll put you on the list, Grayson. Mm-hmm. They are fun. I never thought that I would love, love them. Emus, like I do. I used to be terrified of them because I always felt like they looked into my soul with their beady eyes. Like somebody, mind blown, was that you that said, um, I think I saw it, about goats? Adult goats always look at me with their devil eyes and steal my candy. <laughs> You don't really like goat dyes, right? Don't they kind of freak you out? That's my, I think that's my issue with goats. Their eyes are just, I, <laughs> I like goats, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't want a bunch of them running around. They're so cute. Like our cows, I, I, I couldn't do it like that. Our cows, I can. Uh, yeah. Elsa's eyes kind of scare me a little bit. She, really? She got kind of scary snake looking Aww. eyes. I love Elsa. Don't get me wrong. She's going to live here forever. Hmm. I mean, and I don't think that we're going to eat her, are we? Mm -hmm. uh, no. We'll, can we bury her? We'll bury her. Kay. But we'll keep her head. Ah! Put her up on the Those wall. Those huge horns? Yeah, she does have beautiful horns. Those are majestic. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I just love her. She's the, I thought was the top dog of our, I thought she was our alpha cow. Is that, 
Are they alphas? Alphas, yeah. But you said that. I think Anna is. Anna took it yeah. over. I think Anna which is. Which shocked me. Juanita wants to know if we still have the toads. Do y'all want to see the toads? That would be entertaining. <laughs> oh, the, the toads. Bless them. Seven fifty. If one, I... if even one person says yes, we'll show them the toads. Leonard Mountain asked how old they are. I did see that. Hold on, I don't want to go back to that. I didn't want to. Um... Yeah, goats are more ornery than cattle. I agree with that. Where did it go? I thought they asked how old they were. Maybe I saw somebody else's comment. Oh, she said. Um... How old are they? How old are Minnie and Pearl? They're probably, what, 10? 10 or 11? Yeah, they're both in the teens. Uh-oh, we got a lot of yeses going up. Okay, we'll show you the toads. Um, <laughs> they, Jeff. Oh, Mimi even said yes. What's the toads' names? Wuggy Rex. What are they? Tell, tell the people. Wuggy Rex. Rocky and Rex. Rocky and Rex. So here's the toads. It's a disgusting. Yeah, that one just ribbon. <laughs> this ribbon. They have not missed a meal. So we we have been debating of when to let them go back to the wild. We have been buying crickets. So if you ever if you don't have animals now, and you want to have animals to have animals, the most expensive animal you can get is a toad. <laughs> Are real? We buy crickets by the hundreds. Now you saw the toads; they're enormous. They eat too many crickets. But why do you keep feeding them? It's you... kind of hard not to. You got a container, and you either feed them or the crickets die. You know, you've been judging me for feeding the pigs too much. You're feeding those toads. Their skin is going to explode. They're going. You're going to put them out here on the patio on the first warm night, and, and a snake is going to eat them the very first dead. night because they're not going to be able to hey. hop around. Those toads, those toads will be dead, and I'd be sad. See? Okay. See, well, we will see protect what you them. Just Come in. They won't. Oh, they won't be goodness. dead. We'll protect them. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry about that. If we'll you put guys them somewhere been, very safe. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't get toads. Don't bring toads in your house. You <laughs> you spend twenty dollars every two weeks on crickets in the wild. Bye, Leonard Mountain Homestead. Thank you for being here. Yes, crickets are not a cheap pet. We thought it would be easy peasy. Oh, they're free. You just catch them in your yard. Yeah. And yeah. then you think we're gonna catch our own crickets outside in what? like. 15 minutes in, you've caught four crickets. No, uh-uh. We just talked about this. What? That first day when you went to work, we had one toad, and I my job was to go find crickets. I had found, like, two crickets in an hour and an extra toad. And I called you, and I was like, I need you to go to the pet store because we now have two toads, and I only found two crickets in an hour. It's not that easy to find crickets once you're looking for them. Do you remember? The dragon game. I don't know where the dragon game is. There's not two fish. No, there's two well, fish. No, oh, I don't did our internet go down? Uh-oh. Our internet went down? Let's see. Did we go away, guys? No, Let us his... know. Anyways, it's not as easy to just go find crickets to feed them. I even had my friend that works at the fire station in town mm -hmm. collecting them. And I was taking a bottle to the gym and collecting them. They will eat whatever is alive. There you go, Bubba. There um, you go. Oh, I, I think a live bug. Oh, well, then take it. Take so it you off. probably could do mealworms oh, if know. they're alive. Uh, it just crickets are. Stuff has to be moving for them mm -hmm. to eat it. Yeah, it'll sit looking at a cricket. If the cricket doesn't move, it'll just sit there and watch it for until the cricket moves. It won't try to eat it until the cricket moves and then it eats it. Anyway, we just bought more crickets. Yeah, exactly. Who said that? What? Dickie John 1 said $20 every two weeks is 520 bucks. Most expensive pet that you can have. That's more than all three of our dogs' dog food is not that much a month. 
for three dollars. Um, so anyway, it sounded like it'd be a good idea. We I wish have we stuck with the tarantula. Yes, I wish we would have stuck with tarantulas, but we didn't. But what do you feed them? Uh, wasn't it crickets too? Yeah, but it's like they eat one cricket like every mm -hmm. two weeks or something. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Well, anyway, we won't do it again. We learned our lesson. He he never even pays any attention to them. I'm no. surprised he remembered their name. Yeah, yeah. But that's all right. We'll let him go Whew. when uh, we're certain it's not going to freak. Actually, I told Sam the day I see the very first toad outside in the spring, yeah. we will let them go. <laughs> and we'll catch it and do a side-by-side -side size comparison. Maybe we should, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, the crickets mind are blown noisy. Talk, yeah. Blank are can't hear them. Noisy yeah. now? Yeah. You can hear? I heard them earlier. I can't hear them right this second. Uh, but I could hear okay. them when I was in the kitchen earlier. I think the sound bounces off that wall. It's weird. Echo or something. We're a Guinness World Record toad. We might. Yeah. Oh, my dog food costs $64 every other month. I don't. I don't know what we spend on dog food. All, all of our dogs are on the same kind now. Bella has really bad allergies, and she used to have to have special food. Well, this is but, still a um, low allergy. Yeah, food. yeah. During COVID, remember they quit making that. Mm -hmm. It was made of kangaroo. Yeah. And you couldn't get it anymore. Yeah, tarantulas should be way easier. So maybe this year, if we catch. A tarantula will keep it. Oh, Mardell said Ken and Barbie. That's cute. Mm -hmm. If Carly got to vote, she would probably pick Ken and Barbie. Yeah. Carly's not on here tonight. She had a big day at Disney World today with her boyfriend, celebrating that her math credit finally transferred to college from, from the junior college. junior college. And so we are putting math behind us. She withdrew out of her class. It's a long story, but praise the Lord. We were specifically praying that it would transfer. And after all this time, it did. Yep. Well, turn them into the neighborhood. Good night, Barb. See you soon. You want to tell Grandma bye? No. What? You're going to see Grandma in like three days. What are you doing popping in over there? Did you know Grandma's coming to see you? Yes! And Papa? Yes! Okay. And sissy? Bye, Papa! Grandma! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we we had, uh, Thomas said, put a sponge in the bowl of tarantulas. That's what we had done, I think. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it when we had a tarantula I think in there? so. I don't remember. The toads have just kind of wiped out my whole memory of the tarantulas. <laughs> Are the crockers still in here? No, they just popped in and left. They're probably on another date night. Yeah. They date way more than we date. Um, thank you. Maybe oh, you're choking me. They were still <laughs> probably in elementary school when we got married. Oh, okay. yeah. Elementary school. Maybe younger. Jason's 38. This doesn't have some teeth. Didn't he fail like three years of school or something? <laughs> three times? Todd Packer said the crappers are sleeping. Yeah. Well, I keep forgetting to tell him we got the Payne County... Uh, brats, and that's what you're cooking us for supper when this is over tonight. Yeah, okay, sounds good. <laughs> Show everybody your lizard. These are the only kind of reptiles we're gonna have from here on out. Well, yeah, this well, we'll have, get out of here, y'all. Thank this you so much. Have sharp teeth. Hey, Ooh, sharp teeth. just remember, guys, yeah. uh, Thomas asked a couple times about the skunk. I don't know, you'll have to ask the that? crockers. They don't, every time we bring it up, they act like they don't know what we're talking about. So, you'll have to ask them. But Looks like Leonard Mountain is going live right now, y'all. They were in here. Yeah. So, if you're not doing anything, hop over into their live. Yep. They're uh, Okies, too. Yep, yep. 
So, uh, in fact, we'll probably go straight there and turn them on and start getting our dinner ready. So, God bless you all. Have a great night, and we'll see you next week.